I am Dr. Kelly Kessler, and I am the host of the podcast, Rewiring Health. This podcast is devoted to giving you expert information around nervous system regulation, subconscious mind reprogramming, and a variety of health topics so that you can optimize your life. Stop feeling burnt out, overwhelmed, in pain, and start living your life where you can remain successful without compromising your health. So I shared the first giveaway from the countdown to 100 episodes, and this week's giveaway is a clarity call with Dr. Rishma Walji, and she was recently on the podcast and talked all about decision making, how we can start to make decisions that actually serve us and lead us in a direction that we desire in life. So this is such an awesome opportunity to get in this. So I'll leave the link in the show notes so that you can enter the giveaway and win and have this clarity call with Dr. Rishma. So jumping into the episode today, what I want to talk about is why meditation is not enough. Meditation alone is not enough. So meditation has a lot of great properties and it is really beneficial for many things. But if we rely just on meditation, we're really selling ourselves short on making any kind of concrete change in our brains any kind of rewiring potential and moving our life in a different direction. So there are so many times I can tell you that I tried to meditate and I found myself just like sitting in silence and perseverating on all the negative thoughts that I had coming through my mind. And then it would almost amplify that because now I had a quiet space to think about all those negative things. And on top of that, I would be saying to myself, like, what is wrong with me? Like, why can't I just turn this off? Like, why am I thinking about all these things? Why do they keep coming into my mind? Like, I just want to have a moment where I can gain some benefit from meditation. I feel like I can't even do that. And I know I'm not alone. I've talked to so many people who experience this. And especially if you're a high achiever, if you're a perfectionist, your mind is often going. It doesn't turn off. It's really hard to quiet your mind. So it can be really, really frustrating when you're trying to meditate. You hear all the benefits of meditation. You're trying to gain those benefits and actually have them come into your life, but yet you're sitting there thinking of every negative thing and worrying about what didn't get done, thinking about the checklist, thinking about the pile of dishes in the sink, thinking about the laundry that needs to be done, thinking about what your kids need to be doing or making dinner or what happened at work. Like it doesn't quiet down, even though we're sitting here silently, it actually gets worse. And When we talk about meditation, so what is meditation? Meditation is to become familiar with. So familiar with yourself, your thoughts, your emotions, really get in tune with who you are at the core. And it does provide tremendous benefit, but doing meditation alone is really missing the mark for actually creating any kind of change. So meditation, in my experience and how I implement it to my clients, is a great practice, but we have to be very intentional, especially with how we do it. So when we become familiar with and we quiet our minds in a moment of meditation, if we just sit there and never provide our mind with new stimulus, new opportunity to rewire, what can often often happen is that we get stuck in the same patterns that we are stuck in. And so we don't ever notice any kind of change in our brain, we don't really notice any kind of change in our life because it more or less becomes just a quiet time to replay the same stories that are plaguing us or replay the same worries. And when we have these thoughts that happen over and over and over again, the wiring in our brain becomes stronger. So if we are meditating, we're giving ourselves a moment to think, but we're only thinking of the things that we always think of we're all, we're actually causing these, this meditation to backfire on us because we're going to strengthen the, the sheer things that are limiting us. So what we need to do with meditation, especially if you're a high achieving perfectionist is be very intentional with that meditation. So taking those quiet moments, allowing your system to calm down, 
physically, mentally, emotionally, tapping in more into your spiritual side is absolutely beneficial. So I'm not knocking meditation. Meditation actually has a lot of scientific basis and research showing the benefits of it. I meditate, I find benefit in it. I recommend it in many of my programs, but it is done differently than maybe from what you've seen in many cases where you just sit, listen to music, or they just guide you through meditation. We need to start rewiring the brain during these moments. So let me just bring it back. Let's talk about what meditation is. So meditation actually slows down your brain waves and allows you to get more into this alpha state. And when we're in an alpha state, we're more receptive to changes within our subconscious mind. So that is why uh, meditation works tremendously well. But if we can get ourselves into this state and allowing ourselves to input more useful, intentional direction for our brain to start rewiring and moving in a different direction is what we need to do so we can actually gain the benefits of meditation. So I wanted to share this because if you were like me for years, I tried to meditate, thought there was something wrong with me. Like everybody else seems to be gaining the benefit of it, but I can't, you are not alone. And there's also many opportunities to meditate, but also do it more intentionally. So I wanted to share that because doing meditation alone is not going to be the answer for changing your dialogue within your brain. It's not going to be the answer for changing the story that you're telling yourself. It it is not the answer for a lot of things, but it is a great piece of the puzzle to start adding into your life and start moving yourself forward. So I hope that serves you as far as bringing clarity to meditation, because this is something I had to learn over the course of my own journey and feeling like I was failing at meditation versus now that I have a good understanding of it, I realized that there are different ways to meditate and there are ones that are much, much more beneficial, especially for someone like me. If you, if you resonate with me and you have a hard time turning your mind off, there are ways to go about it that will serve you much, much better. So don't give up on yourself in, a, in practicing meditation. It's just that you may have not found the right technique and method that actually serves you. So I wanted to share that because it is so important to have these tools, but to also recognize that we have to find what works for us and our brains and our system and allows us to move forward and not keep us stuck in the same patterns that we are always in. So if you found value in this, share it with someone else who maybe has talked to you about like, hey, I've tried meditation, doesn't work. You know, it happens. A lot of people talk about that, but again, it's really important to understand the basis of it why it may not be working for you yet, or maybe why more things need to be added on to allow that to move you forward. So thank you again so much for joining me today. And if you haven't done so already, join the giveaway. There are so many amazing prizes. Again, I have over $1,700 worth of giveaways in the next five weeks as I count down to episode 100. So they'll be coming out each week and I'll be announcing a winner each week. So I'm super excited to share this with you. And there's just so many things that past guests have offered that are just absolutely amazing. They're amazing people and they just have such great value. So it's super exciting to share this with you. So thanks again for being here today and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for spending your precious time to listen to this episode of Rewiring Health. My mission is to inspire hope and healing through science-backed practices. If you found value in this, please share with three people and leave a review. By doing so, this message can be spread to those who need to hear it most. Also, to get updates on the most recent episodes, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for being part of this community, and I am forever grateful for you.